I have a question for you, the viewer. Have you ever seen a character that is superly adorable and also plays crazily fun? The answer is probably yes, but if you answer yes and you don't say it's Hanbei Takanaka, then you yourself are already wrong. This character, in my opinion, is the most fun character so far that I've played with in Samurai Warriors 5. I'm very excited to do a solo video simply for Hanbei Takanaka. This is for a new stage that I just unlocked as well, and he just happened to be part of it. So we're just going to hop in immediately, play as Hanbei here, and we're going to just have some fun. Let's play some Hanbei Takanaka. Everyone right now down in the comments, let me know which character so far has been your personal favorite to play with. If you are someone who has gotten your hands on the JP version of the game, let me know down below right now which character is that. Right now, I'd actually have to say at first it was Hideyoshi, but I kind of got to say it's probably Hanbei for me. He is just such a silly character in terms of the gameplay. He's such a likable character in general. There's just so much about this character that I just always did like, and now he's got a weapon that in my opinion is a little bit more fun than his helicopter thing that he had. I think this one's probably my favorite. Not to say the other one is still is like bad or anything. This one, in my opinion, was just really, really fun to use. I just love his attacks. I love everything about his wep his move, his weapon, everything. I just he's just always been a fan favorite of mine. So to be able to see him with just like a very fun, silly weapon again is just really, really cool to me. Of course, we can't see him as the helicopter Hanbei any longer, but you know what? I personally think this is a very nice substitute. And again, all around, I thought it was just going to be something that's kind of just like, all right, it's cool for like funny purposes, but it's not that fun of a weapon. But no, it actually is probably my most favorite weapon right now in the game. This, game, this weapon has been so very fun to use. And again, let me know which one is your personal favorite that you've either seen or that you've actually gotten your hands on and played yourself, because I'm actually really curious to see what people say about that. And again, uh, I know Hideyoshi's there on the side as well, in case we need him, but this is Han Bay's video. We are not going to be doing Hideyoshi on this video. It's only, only mainly for Han Bay Takenaka. And no, actually, believe it or not, I have not unlocked Han Bay yet. I don't know when Han Bay shows up. Uh, no spoilers, honestly, for me. I'd really rather prefer if I didn't get spoilers. But uh, if you do want to know, be like maybe what chapter I get him in, that would be pretty handy to know. Because uh, I'm in, currently in Chapter 4 still. I've not done anything different or new. Aside from just maybe unlocked like two stages, which was the Inagawa stage, where I got uh, Mitsuki. And then obviously I ended up also getting uh, Sandayu. And then now I'm playing at this stage. I don't even know what this stage particularly is. But again, I'm on the stage, whatever it may be. So... Again, really fun. I still need to get all the uh, abilities and stuff for him, but so far, I gotta say, he's way stronger than I actually thought he was going to be for start, for one. And I apparently missed somebody who is about to die, and I'm gonna take this kill from whoever this is. It was from Momochi. Screw you, the drum's better. But yeah, I'm gonna eventually play as all these characters. So this week in particular, I'm gonna be focusing mainly on Hanbei. Hanzo and Mitsuhide, two, three of those who are in my top three right now. I'd probably say Hideyoshi would maybe get his own video as well in the future because he's probably in my top four. But it also depends on if the other characters are also really enjoyable as well because I did actually get to try out Matsunaga and Matsunaga actually was surprisingly, I thought the gun wasn't going to be all that fun. It's actually a really enjoyable weapon to use. So it was really cool to be able to do that. So we got to head over to the right side of the map now. So we're going to go this way. Never mind, I can't go that way. That's the place I can't go to. Wait, so this is the boss already? Well, hold on. I'll, just in case, I'm going to hold off on taking him out. Even though, obviously, I could do it at any time I really want to. I probably should be going down to where Hideyoshi is. Hideyoshi-sama. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go over here real quick. I'm going to take out this hammer, dude. I'm going to buff myself a little bit in the attack. Use the special ability that I have. And it did no damage for some reason. All right, good game. But let's, let's say we do a Muso, though. I think a Muso is well uh, needed at this point. Also, I like how he has that. It kind of reminds me of Motochika's weapon, where he just has all those, like, projectile, like, sound waves just start shooting at somebody. I like how it's kind of just, like, been an homage to that a little bit, in my personal view. All right, so we're going to take out a little bit of this, a little bit of these, do that. And the funny thing is, when you hit it with just the regular attacks, it also does a bit of a shockwave, which is really cool as well. It's just... And, of course, you can also just make the sound effects happen as well, which is really nice. I like it. I just really, really enjoy this character. It's just been so much fun to play with this character. Every time Hanbei has popped up on screen, honestly, I've been really tempted to play as him. I've been trying to be able to do it so I can do a... Uh, or I haven't been playing as him too much so I can give other characters a chance. But whenever Hanbei shows up, it's just impossible, almost damn near impossible for me to just not pick him and play as him. Because he's just been so much fun, so enjoyable to play as. Alright, so let's get rid of this barracks captain. I think I'm going to have to go all the way down south to where Hideyoshi is, so 
We're gonna have a little bit of a ride on our hands here. I don't know what happens if I get rid of that officer. I'm assuming the battle will continue to play out. But just in case for now, I'm gonna just avoid him and just go over towards other people. Where's my horse? Horse, hello. I'm in need of your speed, which isn't really all that much, but I mean, it's it's something, I suppose. Can I use like the speed buff? Let me see this real quick. Can I use a speed buff here? And then also use the horse. Do I go any faster? The answer is, looks like it's no. Well, I, well, I, I, I don't know. I'm not gonna say yes or no to that. I actually have no idea. I can't go this way. I gotta go all the way around, but I guess I'll just take out and kick some booty in the meantime. Go to these barracks captains and whatnot. There we go, got rid of that guy. Because we still have another objective to do uh, over or on the other side, so we need to make sure we get over there. Again, I'm not gonna be playing as Hideyoshi here. Uh, that is That is not gonna be the case. So I'm gonna avoid him as much using him as much as possible because it's meant to be a solo Hanbei showcase video. And again, so far, I gotta say Hanbei is actually catapulted to number one. Hideyoshi, weirdly enough, is maybe if I play with him again for another video, I'll be like, okay, never mind, he's back to my number one, or maybe number two. I feel like Hanbei is gonna be a little bit tough for me to just be like, nah, I think I'm good. I think I think uh, Hideyoshi will probably be it. Hanbei has just been really really fun to use overall. And I feel like he might be the very first character I maxed out. It depends, though. I also do really love Mitsuhide, but and at the same time, I adore Hanzo as well. And he's got some special stuff uh, specific for him, so we'll just see how it goes, you know? All right, let's get rid of this drum guy. There can only be one drum player here, and it's me. All right, he's gone. Okay, now we've made it over to where Hideyoshi is. Nothing too bad. So let's just help him take out all these enemies real quick, and then uh, we'll be good to go. We'll be moving on. Cause it looks like I need to go up north to the top right of the map. I just couldn't access it because all the gates are closed. So I need to make sure I head over there. It looks like these guys can also get hit by these sound waves, like even when I'm not like doing anything with them. So yeah, if they just run into these shock waves or sound waves, whatever you want to call them, they will be getting some damage to them or just a knockback at least. So that's pretty cool. I like that a lot, honestly. It would have been cool to see like if they continued to do like the hyper attack uh, charge attacks or the hyper charge attacks. I think that would have been pretty cool to see. Uh, like to see what kind of like moves he would have gotten, but at the same time, again, I'm okay with it with the hyper attack just being something that you can use to like progress the comboing as well. I don't know which one's my personal favorite between four and five's way of doing the hyper attack or Godspeed attacks, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I they're both equally good in their own aspect, in my opinion. Do a little bit of that, Shh, just move them out a little bit. God, it's so hectic too. Like it's like, what is happening? All right, so we handled this a little bit. Let's uh, take out this guy. I guess this is a gatekeeper here. Habity babity. Okay. Now that we've handled this, just got to take out a little couple of these guys. Oh, we already got the 100 kills. Oh, okay. I guess I wasn't specifically in here. It was like a little further down as well. Okay, so now we got, it looks like we're gonna have to go, oh no, wait, no. Oh, it looks like something's happening over there, but nothing particular yet, okay. Are they panicking or something? He looked like, he sounded like he was panicking. You should be. Did you see my weapon? Do you see my monstrous? Uh, okay, these, these rifles are really kicking my ass. It, it needs to end. All right, so now those gates are open. Oh, we, another commander has popped up. Actually, is this the Honganji? Surely it is. Is this the Honganji battle? I don't know, uh, again, I don't know. I'm just seeing like all these priests and stuff. It looks like it's the Honganji. At least they don't make that weird sound effect that they did in SW1 when they would die. Alright, looks like I'm gonna have to take a. Yeah, I'm assuming this is maybe like Honganji, maybe? Like, again, I haven't really been paying attention because we got Psycho Mercenaries here. We got, uh, like, Priests and stuff, which, I think, which I'm assuming is pretty much Honganji people. So this is like. Nobunaga's really been showing his colors. I thought he was gonna do it when he, like, actually changes his design, but no, I think he's, like, showing his ruthfulness even before that. I mean, hell, he even had his own brother killed. So, you know? Oh, I mean, well, technically, he, he did seppuku, but, you know, you know what I mean. Technically, it's like Nobunaga kind of drove him to doing it, so Nobunaga kind of always been like that. You thought when you saw, like, his look and everything, you'd be like, oh, okay, we're probably going to be, like, seeing a really, really nice side of Nobunaga, and then this stuff happens, like, oh, never mind. <laughs> all right, now we got to take care of this guy. It looks like they've all been generic so far. Ooh, ooh. I can block that. Need to learn when to block. And don't worry, we're also going to try to do our best to make sure we get the true moose off, but I'm going to wait until we get to, like, an enemy commander or something, which seems we will have, but maybe we'll do it to just anybody in, in particular. You know? We'll just see what happens. All right, let's follow our lord Hideo-sama. 
and we'll just yeah we'll handle the people down on south and we'll handle the two commanders and then uh, i think i guess that'll be good right i think that'll be good to go i guess we'll see you'll see sometimes these battles have like oh here's the second part of the battle and i'm like oh no but yeah, so just in case anyone's curious and has not seen the schedule, I do have a schedule on the community tab of the channel. If you want to go check that out, it has the schedule for what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be doing more diverse streams this week. And uh, every other day, I'm going to be doing some Simmer Warriors 5 videos. So for this week, you're going to be getting Monday today. You're going to be getting Hanbei. On Wednesday, you're going to be getting Hanzo. And then Friday, to end the work, the, work, the weekdays, you're going to be getting Mitsuhide. If I can get Mitsuhide before I end up like... Like the adult version, I'll maybe like maybe change it up and do that one. But for now, expect it to just be regular Mitsuhide because obviously we didn't get like him during the demo. So if anyone wants to be able to see that, and of course I also just want to be able to play as him because he's very very fun. In my opinion, he kind of godly with the way he plays. I just love it. So we're gonna be doing videos of those three who are my top three favorites at the moment, and then probably a Hideyoshi maybe on the next week. If not, maybe we'll do a Zimmer Warriors Five live stream sometime over the weekend. But for now, I've just been like on the hell week, so I kind of want to be able to just play games that just chill, make me chill out. Don't have to worry about like the ability to make the content like super crazy on the live streams. Like on those, I'm kind of just more chill and everything when I do the diverse stuff. So that's why I haven't really like wanted to do anything too crazy with Samurai Warrior stuff. But that way, I'm able to just burst out all my energy in a video, and then we get even more energy in that kind of stuff. All right, so can I get over here and kill him? Oh no, I can't. Oh yes, I can. I got to go around, but I need to take out this barracks captain because he's staring at me in the face, and I don't like it. Oh, I think I got 200 enemies. Just in general? Oh, just in general. Okay, that's cool. Okay, I'm cool with that. All right, I guess I should have Hideyoshi go somewhere where it's populated with enemies then. Let's have him go over there. Maybe that way he'll be able to take out some enemies and uh, we'll be able to be good. He'll be able to help out, get rid of some enemies and everything. What you all like backing up from? Don't be scared. Also, uh, people ask, I don't know what difficulty I'm playing on. Whatever was defaulted. So if this was on easy, oops. But uh, if not, then uh, I'm playing on normal. I don't know. I, I don't know what it defaulted on. Uh, obviously, when it, when it comes down to the actual playthrough, when we play it, when the global release comes out, I'll be sure to play it on normal difficulty. Hopefully, that'll make things a little bit different for me. But uh, we'll just have to wait and see, because I actually legit don't know what difficulty I'm playing on. Whatever is the default, because I have not changed the difficulty since I got the JP version of the game. So, yeah. It's mostly, like, at the end of the day, it's not like to show, like, this is supposed to be, like, anything challenging for me. It's meant to just showcase the character and just show, like, how much fun I've been having with them and everything. That's literally, but I, that's literally my purposes of doing these videos. So if it is on, like, easy or something, I personally don't mind too much. I'm someone who just likes to play things casually. I don't try to do too, like, sometimes I'll, like, look for a challenge, and that's when I do, like, the playthroughs. I can play them on, like, if it's a new experience, I'll play it on normal or hard, because I want to be able to get, like, a new experience kind of challenge to it. But there are also moments where I'm just playing it just for casual fun, and I don't normally give too, too much of a damn about doing that kind of stuff. Like, ah, people want to see it on hard difficulty. I'm going to be like, no, nah, I want to be able to do what I want to experience it in my way. Because there's obviously going to be other people who like streaming on hard or normal or something. But I'll be most likely streaming it on normal for the new challenge experience. By the way, here's the true Muso. Give me the shot. Beautiful. Look at that boy. Adorable. Yeah, at first I was like, this is kind of weird for a design for him. But then I actually ended up playing it more. I'm like, no, no, this is actually pretty good. Oh, wait, is this the Uesugi? I don't know what I don't know what battle this is in particular. Okay, so we handled that. Looks like we're going to have to fight Genshin soon. Oh, we got some enemies down south as well. All right, we're going to have uh, Hideyoshi go after them. Well, I try to handle everybody else. I don't expect the AI to actually be too much of help here, but I'm going to just see if you can at least hold them off while I handle all the other guys. All right, so I guess it's good that I didn't get rid of the commanders because it looks like Kenshin's not a commander at the moment, at least. I'm going to try my best not to kill that other commander until we know for a fact I'm good to go. Unless it says Kenshin could be a commander in a minute. But sometimes these battles can just end prematurely, and you're like, oh, well, there's all the other content from that battle. And this is the moment, this is what I was talking about as well. These stages, like, when you think you're done, it's like, oh, nope, here's some enemy reinforcements. And now the conditions have changed. But so far, the conditions have not changed all that much. <laughs> I just love the sound effect. It's so good. God, imagine dying to just hearing a drum. I'd be pissed. Or just getting whacked with one. Getting whacked with one makes more sense, but, like, just hearing it. It's gotta be hitting that bitch hard. All right, so we gotta take out this guy over here. Hideyoshi's been doing his job. I'm proud of you, Hideyoshi. Keep going, man. 
Oops, I didn't mean to do this. He was already dead. This is overkill. Not to mention it's not even going to hit him, so it's kind of like just hitting his dead body, even though it's not there. I'm hitting his spirit. Okay. All right. Um, I'm gonna see to hit with Hideyoshi taking out one of those guys. I don't know if one of them's a commander or not. It doesn't really matter because uh, even when it's your character, they like say Hideyoshi for example here, he can't kill them even though like I have to be the one. You have to be controlling the character to kill the commander. So that's pretty cool. I like that you have to control the character to play to kill the commander itself. So that way, you're like your companion AI can't like do all the work for you. I kind of like that personally. They can still damage the hell out of him and everything, and like just keep juggling him and every and all that kind of stuff. But aside from that, uh, he cannot be killed. All right, so I can't take out Genshin yet. So I gotta just go after these guys real quick. Again, I'm gonna try to avoid that commander as best. Oh wait, did Nobunaga kill him? Oh, Nobunaga, I think did the job. Okay, now Kenshin's coming out, so now I gotta go take out Kenshin with uh, Han Hanbei. I was about to say Hanzo. With Hanbei, and then uh, I think we can take out that commander. But I'm gonna let Hideyoshi work on him while I'm going to take out Kenshin. Oh, wait a second, we got Magoichi as well! So I'm guessing that's the same voice actor. Kinda makes me think of Sam from Metal Gear Rising for some reason. The face, at least. I don't know why the portrait made him look like he was way bigger or something. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I may need to look at his portrait again. Maybe I'm just going crazy. Like this weapon is. It's crazy. Oh, he's got two health bars. Okay, so he's going to buff himself here. Going to let him do his thing. Still crazy to hear that this is also Kenshin. I think they could have kept the same kind of deep voice for him. Ah! Nice miss, dumbass. Ha ha ha. Ow, ow. Do that. Do a little bit of musoing. You've been caught in it. You've been ensnared. And now it is time for you to die. Kenshi, Kenshi. Took like no damage though. I'm kind of upset about that. Let's calm down a second here, Kenshi. All right, let's take it easy, buddy. Kicking my ass. Should have saved my true Muso for him. Oh yeah, you're ensnared in the drums. Ensnared in the drums. What are you gonna do about it, Kenshi? Kenshi, Uesugi. There you go. Do a little bit of this around myself with some defenses. Look at it. He can't break. He can't penetrate my defenses. He's. It's impossible for him. He. He. He did a little bit. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. That was a little bit. Yeah. How about that? How about that as well? You're killing me. You're killing me. Let's do this. Special ability. Man, this man is tanking damage like crazy. All right, I need some help. I'm gonna die. <laughs> He's got a kick in my ass. All right, where's uh? Yo, can I get caught in that? No. Okay. Ow. I do have my Muso though. Does the true Muso actually carry over with the uh, the red health? I guess I'll find out. Sure doesn't. I'm pretty sure I would have gotten my cut in or something there if it did. It's doing a little bit more. Oh, he catches on fire though. So the technically that Muso fire thing is still like a thing that happens. That's good. He's so close to dying. I'm going in. This. Oh, Okay, we're good. We're fine. I, I did good. I did good. Nah, now die, loser. Give me that weapon. My weapon now. I like how he's got, like, I, I like and hate that he's got all these, like, shamans or whatever that can, like, heal. I don't have any to help me. Why not, game? All right, got some health back. Now we can go after Magoichi. I feel like he's probably going to be buffy just like freaking Kenshin was, so got to be mindful of that. Got to keep the Muso on then and uh, keep the attack up. And my uh, special attack ready on the go. So, gonna head over here real quick. Grab the horse. And now we're heading off. We're heading off to finish this battle. And before I accidentally kill the commander before. Oh, I need that. I kind of need that a little bit. I'll take that. All right, 50 health. I mean, I'm still, I still got, don't got a lot of health, so I guess this works out in a way. All right, I'm here. Oh, you're a barracks captain, but I'll get rid of you. Your face wasn't even the same as your portrait, dude. That's kind of sad. Um, all right, so where's uh, where's Magoichi, dumbass? There he is. Come here, you. Back away from Lord Nobunaga. Even though I care more about Hideyoshi, but still, back off from Lord Nobunaga. My lord's still working for his lord, so I gotta help out my lord by killing you. 
Okay, that was nowhere near as bad as Kenshin. I do like that they made Kenshin look like a big threat there, though. That was cool. All right. All right. Oh, wait. Uh, Hideyoshi's got his true Muso. Hold up. We might be able to get this off. Oh, yes. Right, I'm going to try to hit the people, the guy who's right behind me. <laughs> it sounds so dumb. It's so good, though. It fits him so well. I love Hanbei. Good shot. Good shot. You got to love it. I, I can't I can't not love Hanbei. Hanbei's so good. He's so much fun. Drum attack. All right, so we can handle that. Oh, wait, the command. Oh, there's a new commander. He's heading towards whoever that is. Hideyoshi-sama, we must go. Hideyoshi, we don't got time for these guys. We got to go it over there, man. Let's go. Come on, Hideyoshi. We got to we gotta go. Hang on, we'll swap to him just so we can put his horse on. Give him the horse game. Give him the horse game. Thank you. <laughs> Mercy. Right, let's go, Hideyoshi. Or, my lord. <laughs> Ooh. All right, got that. Now I'm full health. We're good to go. Let's go, Hideyoshi. Maybe should have given it to you, but you know what? I think you'll be okay. Got a new boss. All right, getting off the horse with him. Getting off the horse with him, and we're good. All right, let's do this. Oh, it's just another regular, uh, regular dude. This shouldn't be too bad. At okay, well there's your answer. That was not bad at all. All right, everybody. Well there you go. That was the battle. We got to play as Hanbei. Takenaka with these ama with this or this amazing drum. Again, personally, my favorite weapon in the game right now. Now, everybody, if you all did enjoy it, then be sure to smack that like button. Comment down below again, as I said, which one is your personal favorite character that you have seen or played as if you got the Japanese version of the game. And if you're new to the channel and you like the content that you see, be sure to hit that sub button. If you want to support the channel further than that, you can join the Discord, the wowiest of Jagoku Discord server. It is down at the top of the description. You can meet some awesome people in the community there. And if you want to support the channel further than that, you can join the Patreon, like these amazing people you see on the screen right now. You can join the $1 tier or $5 tier. Have your name up on every single video. And I'll be sure to give you guys more pride when it comes to ga game suggestions, character suggestions for this game. So you guys help me with the channel financially. So with all that being said, thank you all very much for watching. I will see you all in the next one. Farewell. Just to keep on me.